Good afternoon, St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador. A little bit of an overcast, but she's pretty warm out there today. So what does that mean? Well, I was debating a motorcycle ride. But I might do that tomorrow. And today I think I'm going to take my dog with me and we're going to go for a drive. And I'm going to take him out to Topsail Bluff. So if you haven't been to Topsail Bluff before, now's your chance to uh, join me and Rex as we uh, go out and have a look around. But before we hit the road, I'm going to show you where we are. This is the map of Newfoundland. And as you can see, this is where I am and Rex. Rex is with me, so he's there as well. And when you zoom in, you can see that it's not a huge distance to go. It's only uh, 20 kilometers. Gee, I thought it was a lot closer than that. That's it, 20 kilometers away, 22 minute drive. I'm here and going there. Walk. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to walk? Are you sure? Yeah, I think you do. Alright, let's get going, eh? Let's get going. You get your leash on. You gotta do that first, though. Yeah, hook you on. Because I'm a responsible dog owner. Eh? There you go. You're all set. We're all ready to go, are we? So hey Rex, you all ready to go? All right, let's go. We don't have a lot of time to waste. Gotta be back in time to get some supper on to go for mama and the boy. Topsail Beach, here we come. Give it here. <laughs> hey. See, he doesn't mind being strapped on. He's got a leash on him, he's got a collar on him. There's no need to have your dog over sitting in your lap. It's just plain reckless in my opinion. It's worse than having a cell phone in your lap and texting people. Oh well, that's my perspective anyway. You might disagree with me, you might not. But either way, we're going for a drive, Rex. Yay, perfect timing. Look at that car crossing over in the other lane, taking a turn. I would say in about 10 years from now, I'll be getting ready my gold wing and getting one of these guys in front of me. Depends on how my body holds up. We'll see. A lady rider. I think uh, that looks like a legion patch if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Definitely a legion rider. Veteran plates. Maple leaf. All a dead giveaway. I wonder who they are. There's a good chance I probably know them. Or recognize them. Uh, busy traffic circle. Let's see how this goes. See how many people try to cross over lanes where they're not supposed to. Seen that the other day. 
somebody uh, changed lanes inside a traffic circle and I laid on the horn because they cut me off. Huh? Plenty of dumb drivers around here, that's for sure. <laughs> I think this is going to be my third time out here, or maybe even fourth. I'm not 100% sure, but it's uh, it's always worth the little walk. It's only a short distance you got to walk to actually uh, reach the bluff itself. You'll see. I bet you all the houses up here probably cost a couple dollars more than I can afford. <laughs> I see they're all up in the high hundreds of thousands, if not even low millions. And here's the parking spot. Ooh, a little bit of a drop there. <laughs> Park over on this side so I don't block off the trailway. Get some glasses, some keys. Might need these. It's pretty bright out there. Okay, stay there for a second, okay? Stay. Burry, I'll get you. You sure you want to come with me? <laughs> Stay here. Stay. Get my leash on you. Unhook this one. So we don't want you to strangle yourself when you jump off, do we? There we go. Now we gotta walk. And the trail is quite obvious as you can see. It's the only spot to get through the rocks. <laughs> Me slip. Should have brought my walking stick or my ski pole. A little wet patch that way, but luckily they have a side trail. Let's go in the woods, Rex. Man, you stop and sniff everything. And then when I walk ahead of you, you always go on the opposite side I want you to walk in. Smell something good here. Well, since there's no cars, I'm hoping there's no people. Unless some brave souls hiked up from the beach. Which would not be me. Almost there, Rex. Looks like we made it, Rex. <laughs> we survived that treacherous trail. Makes you wonder why people come up here, huh? <laughs> no reason at all, he says. 
other than that spectacular view. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What do you think, Rex? Is it nice out here? No water, is there? I need some water for you. <laughs> yeah. You're not going over near the edge, buddy. Look down. You can see the seagulls below us. Over that way you see Bell Island. There's actually hiking trails that start from way down there and they, uh, they make their way up this way. Busy spot down there today, almost all the parking is taken. I'm not very smart today. I left my phone sitting in my truck. And it's a hot day. Hopefully it's in the shade and not getting too hot in there. We'll see when I get back. Worst case scenario, some safety feature kicks in and it just shuts off on me. Darn it. <laughs> I was just about to take some pictures of the of Rex with the with the uh, scenery in the background, but uh, but I don't have my uh, my phone. Actually, I could probably use this camera. Hmm. I must see what the quality of the photo. Yeah. Again, my brain is not working right. I want to see what the quality of the phot photographs would be with my camera. So let's try that out now. Well, I just put those two photos that I took in my video, as you notice. I probably didn't have to tell you that since you just watched it. Wasn't having much luck though trying to get one of him because he was restless. He won't sit still for photos. Probably too warm out there for him and he's probably a little distressed hoping he's going to find some water soon. Yes, we'll stay in the mud. It's cooler on your feet. Okay. Or your paws. Whatever you want to call them, hey, Rex? So today I was torn between a motorcycle ride and a walk with my dog, Rex. I was opting for the motorcycle ride, but I had an appointment scheduled for today, which uh, yesterday made me rule out a motorcycle ride for today, because if I got an appointment, I can't do anything else. Got a text this morning, my appointment was canceled. So then I was like, okay, I can go for a ride, but it wasn't planned. So I decided, hey, Let's make this a day about me and Rex. So we've been hanging out at home. He's been up on my lap. We're spending some quality time together. Although he's probably not enjoying this heat either. You can pick the path, Rex. Yes, pick the dry one, good. Today is about you, buddy. think about that as you're walking that your master could be on a motorcycle right now 
Oh, it's too hot for a motorcycle for me. Once we hit the 30s, I don't like it. It's not so bad once you're while you're riding, but then when you slow down or stop, it's just it's a bit much, especially where I'm a redhead and I burn so easily. And I'm someone who drinks and drinks and drinks a lot of water throughout the day. Are you a C-Rex? You're like, shut up and stop whining about the heat because just a few days ago you were whining about it being two degrees and foggy. <laughs> Thank you.